Hello, my name is Dylan Pereira, and in this video from InSource Productions, I want to talk about a new feature available in System Platform 2017 called Object Wizards. It's a new way for us to build our templates for our galaxies. So if you're used to traditional building of objects in a galaxy, you'll start with something like a tank. Then you build sub-templates off of it for any specifics that you need like a tank with maybe one valve, a tank with two valves, etc. The problem is you end up with a lot of different templates. And you also run into situations where you have slight one-offs and you have multiple templates where maybe you only would rather have one. An example of that is when you have a tank and you need to have two different development paths, one for a tank with valves and another for a tank with an agitator as well. In traditional system platform, it's not been easy to maintain all of these templates, but with the new object wizards, it's become a lot easier. In the new template system, essentially we create super templates, for lack of a better word. We still create a generic tank, but on it we now have the options to add in each of the individual pieces that we want. And I say specifically, that these are options because we add in all the various types of pieces that might be on this template. Then when we go to either derive from it or create an instance of that object, we can then select from that master template which of the individual components that we want to use. Now you may be saying, I've been doing this for a long time. And it's true, a lot of people have done something similar in the past by using scripting. So they create something like an agitator and then have a script in it so that if a certain bit is true or false, that agitator attribute shows up or does not. But this is a little bit different in that A, it's built right into the software and B, it doesn't require any custom scripting. So this just makes your life that much easier. With that said, let's go and take a look at the software so we can see how this actually works. All right, and here I am in the development environment so I can start working on our objects. And what I want to do first off is start building my object the same way most people do, which is by starting with the user defined object. So I'm going to right click on this guy and say new derived template. And I'm going to create my super tank. Now when this comes up, you may see the interface looking a little bit different than what you're used to. Uh, this is very similar to what we had in the 2014 R2 version, but if you're coming from an older version, this might look a little bit different than what you're used to. Now in here though, I'm going to create three attributes. The first one being for my first valve. We'll leave it as a Boolean. We'll say maybe it has IO assigned to it. We'll create a second one for my second valve. And we'll add one more for my agitator. Now I've created the three attributes and at this point really it's not too different from what we saw in 2014 R2. Where this becomes interesting is when I start going to the object wizard. And to do that I'm going to click on this little magic wand icon. And with it I'm going to get a couple new panels. And what this lets me do is set up options so that any of the uh, templates that are derived from this or instances that use it can select from the options and choose which attributes, graphics, scripts, etc. they want to use. So to show you that, let me start by adding a choice group. Choice group is going to give us these radio buttons. And we'll say my first group here is going to be number of valves. All right, so my first choice will be maybe this tank will have one valve or Maybe it'll have two valves. Or potentially, there may be a situation where you want no valves. Okay, So later on, the user will be able to choose one of these three radio buttons. So now, just because I've named it one valve, the software doesn't know how to use that. So I have to associate the various attributes, graphics, scripts, etc 
with this choice. So for one valve, I'm going to give it just the one valve attribute. For two valves, I'll give it both of the valve attributes. And for no valves, I'll just leave it blank. So here you can see associations. So the one valve choice is associated with one attribute, two valves with the, both of them, and no valves has none selected there. So what that means is, again, when I create an instance of this or a derived template, depending on what a user chooses here, will determine which attributes actually get created on that object. So this is a choice group. Let me also show you an option group. So for me, my option is going to be has agitator. And so if this is selected, we'll say we now have the agitator attribute. Okay. So if the user unselects this, the agitator attribute would go away they select it, they would now have it. And so this is just the attribute level, but we can then go further. You can see here associating specific symbols with our choices. So maybe we have one drawing of the tank that has one valve, a different drawing with two valves, a different one for agitator, etc. And it even goes further in that we also have a scripts option here. So perhaps in the case of my agitator, Whenever the agitator runs, I may have a specific script to record when it ran and for how long. Well, if I wrote that script, I can associate it down here and associate it with the has agitator option so that only if that option is chosen will that script execute. It's a really interesting system. And with this object wizard, really we get a lot of flexibility to start building these super or master objects uh, instead of having a lot of derived templates and having to maintain them all. Thank you again for watching this video from InSource Productions. My name is Dylan Pereira. Need to learn more about this and other InSource products? Check out our training tracks designed to guide you down your learning path for InSource products. Whether you're using a classic InTouch and Historian architecture or using System Platform, we have a track to help you get the most out of your software investment. To register or learn more, click the link in the video description below. Thanks for watching this in-source video.